What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I am back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the right bottom side of the map. Some might call it the, what is it? The Southeast of the map. Yes, the Southeast of the map. His name is Nullus. He is playing as Hades, his opponent today in the red color, playing as Aranos. You might not know this guy. He's a very strong player. I believe he got his start over on Extended Edition, uh, but currently sitting in the top 20 of the Vubly leaderboard. His name is Jiggly Wiggly, the Jiggly Puff, the Wiggly Tough, and he is playing Aranos. The map is Painted Desert. I'm excited to see this one. Seeing some of the uh, the new up and coming Age of Mythology players, it is more of a slow grind than anything else. Very rarely do you see a player just kind of shoot up in skill. It's like uh, every like kind of six months or so, uh, a player is going to find a new level and start getting and, and like work something new out that can propel them to get more wins. Uh, and apparently, red is. Tiger boss? Really? I thought it was Jiggly Wiggly. The Aranos player from Extended Edition. You can't lie to me. I know these things. I know Jiggly Wiggly existed. Twitch chat. Spreading lies. Big lies. Who knows? Anyways, doesn't matter. Neither here nor there. Uh, even if we were to say that Jiggly Wiggly is Tiger boss, which he might be. Same thing. These players and everyone, it's a it's a slow grind to get to that top level if you do want to go there. Uh, and Pleasure. once you get there, you beat everyone. You can feel strong, big and strong. Yes. Now let's see. Looks like he's going for the two villager wood, two villager gold uh, build, which allows you to get the temple, get your house, get all the good stuff out fairly quickly. The idea with this build is if you've got the food in your main base. You basically want to make your build around how much food you have in your main base. So if you've got yourself, I believe it's 800 food. There is a way to get like a three, is it three? You really used to play Ra? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. So whatever. He's not, he's, uh, Twitch chat are the Smurf detectives apparently. Anyways. I'm a bit sad. Anyways, my, my, uh. My analysis continues. If you've got a certain amount of hunt in your base, you should attempt to make the build around said hunt. So if, say, you've got 800 food, you want to be advancing off of that 800 food if it's possible. If you've got 900 food, same thing. 1,000 food, same thing. You can make your build around those uh, those things here. As Nullis drops off his food, gets up. Fairly fast advance time here for Nullis. Uh, Jiggly Wiggly, on the other hand, getting up his temple, Yuji. doing all the good stuff over here. He's going to be basically just going for a standard 430 advance time. Uh, I do think that Arano's players, as um, as the, the meta kind of continues to evolve, and I say this kind of maybe, maybe not, but I do think that Arano's players are going to start finding... It's going to be a lot better for them to try and go for four-minute hunting dogs builds when they can, rather than rather than go for their 430 builds. Even having slight delays, so you can get if you've got close enough hunt, you can get 355 hunting dogs builds on most maps, depending on like what sort of hunt you have to kill. So if if you only have to shoot a handful of animals, you can be able to gather more food and get yourself to the uh to the classical age at 355 with hunting dogs on a lot of different maps but the delay of say 5 10 seconds so even going at 405 is going to be starting to feel more and more worth it for Arano's players I would say because it allows them to get going faster getting their early units out to defend or be aggressive against slow 
uh, opponents or fast opponents uh, likewise, as this is seemingly what's happening here. And we are seeing Jiggly Wiggly going for a very strange opening here, dropping a military barracks and two, uh, sorry, two military barracks and one counter barracks. Let's jump over to Noah's perspective and see what he's going for in this game. He's got a lot of wood in the bank, getting that gold income. The Ajax wandering forward straight onto the enemy gold mine. We do have the Minotaur over here onto this food and also the Chiron making his way forward here. Uh, Julie Wiggly making one of those classic mistakes against Greek. You absolutely 100% need to bring your oracles back home as we see the Minotaur here slapping that Promethean to his death. So we do see a, uh, a cheeky... Uh, a cheeky Valor getting cast here as Nullis is just happily going to move in and try and take down these infantry units very, very fast here. Meanwhile, over here, the Katoska boss causing a bit of problems, attacking the Sentry Tower as the Minotaur going after this mana. But the, the uh, Mermilo here, hero, the Mermilo hero coming in, going to try and take down the Minotaur. And if we jump over to Jiggly Wiggly's perspective, where are those Promethean offspring? Just hanging out, going to start getting some jabs over here onto the uh, onto the Minotaur, causing a little bit of problems for Nullis, not allowing him to retreat away here. Nice micro from uh, from Jiggly Wiggly as Nullis has to work out where to go next here. He is getting this town center. Very, very dangerous town center here against the, uh, against the Atlantean players. I've showed a build off once, and I'll tell you the way that uh, Greek players need to play for the most part against uh, against Aranos is Hoplite stable, especially like Hades, but Hades Zeus, Hoplite stable, four minute ish advance times, Hoplite, uh, Hoplite Hippocon, and you just kind of compete very, very nicely against what Aranos can do. The two town center gives a lot of advantages for the Aranos player to kind of choose what they want to do here. But Nullis does chuck up his uh, his Sentinels here, which is going to make this food very safe. A lot safer than it should be. Uh, so Nullis is going to be happy about that one. And he is throwing down some very, very nice military buildings here. But Jiggly Wiggly is taking the uh, initiative here before the walls get set up and getting straight in onto this hunt. Hurting Nullis quite severely here, I would say. If we jump back over to Jiggly Wiggly's perspective, he is ready to drop a second town center over here. He's got the citizen ready to drop it, but just going to send two citizens forward to start building this one up here. As there he goes, might throw a mana up as well in the near future. Uh, so he has options right now. So he can go two town centers, uh, kind of heroic age timing. He can go three town centers, mythic age timing. He can basically just do those two things. Uh, there is some oh nice shockwave there. He's probably going to get a couple of uh, villager kills over here. He goes after this villager, going to try and cut off the other three, getting himself sorry the other two, getting himself three villager kills here as best as he possibly can. Actually, he seems like uh, preferring to finish off the Ajax here, who somehow sneaks out of that that um, surround that Julie Willie had on him. So Nolas feeling the heat right now in this game. Meanwhile, we see. The villagers still pumping out here as another citizen coming over here. So we are seeing Jiggly Wiggly going for that standard three town center build. Now, I did say that you can go for a Mythic Age timing. It's kind of almost not the only thing you can do. So you can go for a Mythic Age fast Titan behind this build here as well, which is actually really, really good against Hades because that timing that hits in the Mythic Age kind of can get defended more times than you might think. Uh, so maybe we'll see that here from Jiggly Wiggly. Uh, something we don't get to see very often is the Titan. So we do see a... We see the... Se we see the six second ceasefire getting dropped there. Uh, as the uh, Mamillos do have to retreat away. Uh, I, I actually... I've I've been known to use this uh, this god power to keep my villagers hunting during a raid or something like that if I'm being aggressive. But if you're just trying, if you're just going for two town centers, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Probably better to just hold on to it for a uh, a different uh, point in the game. So let's check out Jiggly Wiggly's perspective again. He's now going just one. Well, he's going. He's still going Terma Mermillo, so not 
not pure Mermillo. Uh, but citizens coming through, we've got a relic over here, which is counter infantry plus 5%. And also this relic here that hasn't been picked up just yet, which would be very helpful for Nullis. The Arrows of the Ulfar, plus 20% building pierce damage. As the Mamillo are going to come through here and tear down this wall before making their way to another point here. We jump over here to Jiggly Wiggly and see what's happening. We've got the uh, hero units just hanging out on this position as the wooden wall gets taken down. My Milo are going to be retreating away. Three town centers up. Jiggly Wiggly is going to need six villages on food for the citizen. And then an extra two-ish per military or one per military barracks. Something like that. Maybe one and a half per military barracks that he's making my Milo in. So we're now starting to see Nullis going for Hoplite Toxodi, which we don't get to see very often. Against, uh, against Uranus for good reason because these Terma come in and boom, there's a dead Terma. Boom, there's a dead Hoplite. Not, not quite, but you know what I mean. Very, very tough to make those Toxodes work against Uranus, which is a lot of the times why we see Greek players not building them. Nolas now starting to get his farms in order, just making himself Hoplites out of one of those locations. A couple more military buildings getting dropped down. And this is something I expect to see happening a lot more from uh from everyone every single civilization is buildings getting dropped in this way when you're not really trying to make a building wall the idea being a slight gap here on these buildings creates a choke point that you can put your arches into to defend um against enemy uh enemy pushes and it's a really really strong defensive position that they can take as the village is going to continue getting their farms up over here. Farms up over here. Villagers walking up to this top location. Getting themselves that wood income. We check out the economic upgrades. Still no plow here for Nolas. Seems to be one of those technologies that uh, players have been forgetting a little bit here. Julie Wither, on the other hand, he's got his plow. He's getting his armory. Everything coming up very much uh, quickly and in a, in a, in a decent timing. So we'll be getting up to the heroic edge at about 12.30 here, it would seem. So we are seeing Jiggly Wiggly taking this fight right now. We see the uh, Toxodes trying to get pulled back so they don't just get one-banged by the Termas. As we see every one of those Toxodes picked off and those Hoplites are not really going to be enough here to deal with the Mermillo, but Jiggly Wiggly decides better retreat. Still not clicking advance here. He's kind of forgot about it. Uh, there it goes, going up through Thayer, 800 food, 500 gold. Going to start making some more units, I'm sure, afterwards. Or just simply just not train anything, go straight to the Mythic Age and see what he can do. So there are some options now for Jiggly Wiggly to actually not go Hecate here. Point being that there's two gold mines on the map that are going to be very, very hard to get to. Uh, so he can go for a Helios uh, kind of attack to be going for some sort of a gold staff, especially if we can get some villagers forward to put a power so over here. Helios jump onto this location could be very tough for Nullis to defend. Other option would be to just kind of Tartarian gate this area uh, as this gold mine is just about to expire here for Nullis. Nullis throwing down all those farms. Very, very difficult situation to be in. Not close to the heroic age, the mythic age undoubtedly coming very fast here for Jiggly Wiggly as he is only he's still only building Mermillo from uh from two barracks so his economy is skyrocketing here as he will immediately throw down a market somewhere here's the the citizen getting it up as fast as she possibly can here and we're going to start seeing some of those arcas coming out you can't go straight into that dream comp of Destroyer Arcus as soon as you hit the Heroic Edge, but definitely can throw down a palace and start making your way towards it. And we will be seeing Jiggly Wiggly simply just throwing away those Terma saying, yeah, I don't need them anymore. And he will be clicking up through Hecate. So very standard. Not going to be seeing any of that cool Helios shenanigans as the... Uh, as the Mamillo are going to be retreating away here. The Ajax Chiron wandering forward, trying to get in and uh, get a little bit of damage done. But Julie Wiggly is going to be hitting that 145 of 145 population very, very shortly here. Stymphalian Birds, got to be careful. Huge shockwave there by Jiggly Wiggly hitting so many of those units here. Stymphalian Bird wandering or flying forward here, trying to take down those units. 
Uh, but too slow, and we'll see where will the units go for Jiggly Wiggly to hit that Tartarian Gate is the big question. So if we take a big look at what we can um, actually see here is the fight in shoes. Uh, the location to put the Tartarian Gate, maybe over here, maybe over here, maybe over here. As the fight continues, but fairly equal here. I think that Nolas' army is going to be able to win this one. You do have to get something a little bit more special to deal with the Hades army here as Nolas does manage to hold here. Jiggly Wiggly dropping down to 120 out of 145 population, trying to put the palace up on this forward uh, space here. Potentially fire siphon and go is the idea here from Jiggly Wiggly. Not starting himself those Llama Caravans too early in favor of spending all those resources on on tech and army here. As we do see, the uh, palace has come up here, and we'll see what he's going to go for. Meanwhile, Dryad's causing a lot of issues here, as well as these Symphalian birds coming in. As more uh, myth units coming forward, we can see the Lampede here as well. Is Nullus going Heroic Age? No, he is not. Throwing up some more granaries, trying to get those farms working as best as they possibly can here. As we see uh, Nullus just pulling back in a try and hold i guess and let's see what's jiggly wiggly doing gotta get those fire siphons out so let's see fortified talent centers here there it is big ticket upgrade to really help push in and a very very strange uh tartarian gate placement here from jiggly wiggly this is where the army of jiggly wiggly is and the army of where nullis is all the villagers getting dropped off here pulled off here Jumping onto the Tartarian Gate. The Hoplites come in here. This is Ajax already in. So I'd say this is a win for, uh, for Nullis here. Dealing with that Tartarian Gate. <coughs> dealing with that Tartarian Gate incredibly fast. But big problem for Nullis. Stim Bird on the gold mine. More units to boot. We've got the Sky Passage over here. And a cheeky citizen chopping her way through these pine trams. I love this play. Drop both of these down. Drop a sky passage over here. Push through on this location. I absolutely love that from Jiggly Wiggly. We'll see if he's going to actually use that at any time here. Or if it's just for the later stages of the game. Super sneaky. We see the Sentinel here getting taken down. As the Fire Siphon is going to go after this town center as well. At some point here. There, it's onto that one. A second palace getting dropped. You have to be careful not to be losing, uh, losing the fire siphon or anything else. There's a second one going to be coming down with the help of fanatics to boot. There is the heroic age from Nullis here. 113 of 115 population. He is going to be mounting his best attempt at a, at a defense here. As you cannot uh, get lucky on a curse on a hero unit, Jiggly Willy will not lose that citizen and that. Uh, Palace will end up coming up as the Fire Siphon roll back in. The tanks that they are, attempting to take down the Town Center yet again. But the Hades Shades coming in, in clutch to defend this. This is such a big help to Nullis' economy. Free, free units don't cost anything uh, and can come in and, and really start tanking up for the Hoplites to deal with everything else. Top Sodius in the back going to be doing their best as well. Whole bunch of units coming forward onto this gold mine over here. We've got the villagers over here. Marker getting dropped here for Nullis. Jiggly Wiggly still slowly making his way through this location. Has not quite taken down this palm tree. And there he goes going after it. Still no attempt at a, at a sky passage behind this one. But he does notice. And that tree going to get chopped down very, very soon here as well. Much to Nullis' chagrin. Now Jiggly Wiggly making his way into the main base of Nullis with his citizen. We'll see what he's going to actually go for. He just wants the uh, the extra wood income for the time being. As these fire siphon are just going absolutely to town on this town center over here. As Nullis does not have the units to really defend against this. You can actually build Patropolis to try and take down these uh, fire siphon fairly quickly. Safe from afar. Uh, but... Nala's not really thinking about doing that just yet, as we still haven't seen this lone villager attempting to make it through. Now, she has come through, so she can throw up that uh, Sky Passage over here as well, if she wants. But the town center here for Nala's has fallen, 
And Jiggly Wiggly is going to continue the onslaught through this base, looking for something serious to claim for himself, some serious advantage. And there's that sky passage we were talking about. But we see, Alice can see said sky passage getting built. I would have loved to have seen it getting thrown up here, but not what happened. It doesn't matter. So long as it comes up, you can see Nullis' gold mine get targeted down here, and a huge, a huge amount of pressure can get put onto uh, onto Jiggly, uh, onto Nullis' economy, and onto his back town center as well. Meanwhile, we do see uh, a cheeky, cheeky, cheeky gold mine getting gathered from here. As the sky passage gets up, the uh, villager back to chopping down wood over here, and Nullis still getting pushed back on this location and he does decide in the 19th minute even with the sky passage getting up he does decide to tap out in this game we don't get to see the sneakiness the jiggly wiggly managed to uh put here in this game but a big big uh shout out here for for jiggly wiggly taking this game a very tough one against Nalas, one of the best players around uh but this is definitely a comment on uh really Fast two down center against Tyrannus, man, it's tough. It's real tough. Even if you've got good food around it, even with Hades Sentinels, you're going to be in a tough spot because you allow the Uranus to do anything that they want. They can be completely in their comfort zone. I really, really do think that one town center play here, if you've got the map, is the way to go, especially Hoplite, Hippocon. You do not really need to make those Toxodes as much as you think with Hades. Uh, and you can get your advantages elsewhere. Uh, but nice play from Jiggly Wiggly nonetheless. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next game.